Warzone Mobile, the most anticipated game of 2023 and 2024 has just become the most hated and uninstalled game after just two weeks of its launch. The game is really getting too many trolls and negative comments. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Reddit, in every platform has heated up with the angry players, why the most anticipated game becomes the most hated game. In this video I will discuss everything in three parts. Just watch this video till the end and comment your opinions also. So first, we need to discuss why Warzone Mobile became the most anticipated game of 2023 and 2024. Mobile gamers are waiting for a new, fresh game. They are bored of the same games they play. Especially gamers wanted a new Battle Royale game. The last Mobile Battle Royale game which was successful and super hit were PUBG Mobile and Garena Free Fire. It is a long time since a new super hit Battle Royale game hasn't been released. Free Fire is in 2017 and PUBG Mobile is in 2018. Only a Battle Royale game which has potential to succeed was Apex Legends Mobile. But it also shut down just after 11 months of its launch. This is the main reason Warzone Mobile earned over 60 million pre-registration and becomes the most anticipated game. Second, in this part we will discuss why it failed. Although millions of players are excited for the global launch of Warzone Mobile, those players who are playing the game from beta were tensed about this game's future, especially Android gamers. From early beta stages to global launch the game spent almost 3 years and 11 studios were working on this game. It could be easily optimized, but Activision didn't. The close betas usually helps for testing the game in between limited players and improve the game from their feedback, but Activision have listened to the feedback of only some partners content creators and those have iPad and very high-end Android. Which is not affordable to all of those 60 millions players who pre-registered the game. Their main intention behind this game is only money. If we go back to Activision's background, we can see from where these are started. From 2015 Inch's Call of Duty Ghost, the franchise started to show their bad intention of money. Every year new game and every year failed, these becomes a routine. Then in 2019, Call of Duty Warzone 1 Inch launched. A new revolutionary battle royal game for PC which started to attract PUBG PC players. But after this in 2021 the old routine continues till 2023. From this record we can see that Activision, literally, don't care of players. They only care for microtransaction. They have understood that mobile games can generate huge income. From Call of Duty Mobile, which was super hit for mobile devices, they earned $500 million revenue. So they launched this game with this intention that it will make the rich. Third, here we will discuss what is the impact of this failure. The first impact, they may shut down, Call of Duty Mobile. I already described this in a separate video. Or if they won't shut down Codem and keep continuing both games, then you will be sure this game is only for money milking. The engine chosen for this game has a technology called, streaming, and it is the main fault of this game. This feature doesn't allow you to download the map just like PUBG and Codem. In Warzone Mobile the maps download each time when you started the game, this means your device is playing game and downloading maps in the same time, this makes devices so hot and the game becomes unplayable. In PC this doesn't make any problem as PC has a dedicated graphics card and cooling system. PC components are designed to work up to 80 degrees but mobile not. So my opinion, if this game want to optimize, they have to rebuild. The game in Unreal Engine from a scrap. I played Warzone Mobile for the last one year, now I have no interest left in this game. I will start playing if it is playable. If you liked the video, subscribe to my channel for more upcoming gaming updates. Goodbye.